Hey everyone, Servant of Shiloh here with an extra ditty this week because Dungeon Alchemist, the 3D map maker on steroids, there's two of them now, but I'm just talking about Dungeon Alchemist today. They just, I just had this email like about four o'clock in the morning this morning on a new update that they have just released. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar, I do have some videos where I'm talking about Dungeon Alchemist. You can go to those videos and check those out to get the 411 on what Dungeon Alchemist is. For those of you who are in the know, I'm just going to show this video that they posted. I'm going to go through some of the new things that I am excited about. And just understand something for those of you who don't know, this is exclusively for those who run fantasy campaigns. Now there is another map maker coming out from the guys who make Kronos Builder. So if you do cyberpunk or if you're doing Shadowrun or if you're doing even superhero campaigns, now the superhero campaigns, you could probably kind of use this as well, but more like Traveler or things like that, you probably want to wait for Kronos Builder to come out because they're going to have the assets. This doesn't have the assets, it just has the assets for a fantasy setting. But this update that just came out, pretty excited about it. It's called the Abandoned Ruins Update and it has a bunch of new features. We ain't gonna get into that today. We'll get into that slowly but surely as we continue to do our tutorial series on Dungeon Alchemist. But it has a whole bunch of new assets, got like over 400 new assets that they've added to it. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of point out the new things in this real short video that they've done. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so here we are, I got the video queued up and how we're gonna do this is I'm going to play the video, the trailer that they played for the Abandoned Ruins update. And I'm just gonna stop it just to explain the differences between what was before and what is now. And just to let you guys know, Dungeon Alchemist is not affiliated with this video whatsoever. The only contact I've ever had with these guys was, as I said before, very clinical. And so I'm doing this because I just think that this is a great update and you guys need to get up on this and get up on this yesterday. So let's go ahead and play this video. And what you're seeing right here is the new jungle theme. It's going to ready to pan right here. So that's kind of cool. The new jungle theme. Let me pause it right here real quick. And so this is the new jungle theme terrain. Before you had three terrains. You had dark parchment, grasslands, and forest. Now we have the jungle. And as I'm looking at it, I like this one the best. Out of all of them, I like this one the best. And the water... And if I'm not mistaken, because I've been in Dungeon Alchemist a little bit, but if I'm not mistaken, this water for the jungle theme is a lot bluer than the others. I'm just saying I have to go and, you know, mess with it because I haven't messed with it since the update came out. But it looks like the water is bluer. Let's go ahead and get this plan. It looks really cool. This is on a forest terrain right there. That's forest. OK, here's another new feature that I think is awesome. And that is the multiple object brush. Now before, when you wanted to have multiple objects of the same object, you had to go, you had to pick the one that you wanted, you had to set it down, maybe copy and paste it and then move it around. Now they have it to where you can actually just brush on multiple of similar objects, like in this case, pottery jars in literally seconds. And as you can see up here with the brush, you can change the size of the brush. And when you change the size of the brush, what will happen is that the size of the objects will grow as well. And the density, obviously, is how close together the objects will be, if it will be sparse and kind of spread out or if it will be very dense. And you're going to really see an example of this here. Watch this. It's going to do it with debris here, and then he's going to change the size of the brush, and then boom, big debris here with the skeletons. Okay, this one here, we have some new assets that's being shown off here. 
some of these cobwebs and things like that wasn't there before now they are rather cool now this one here this is showcasing how you can now stack buildings on top of one another you see this upper floor here and now it look like you have this lower cellar floor here now i do not know like i said i haven't opened this up since the update i don't know if you can actually go down there now, if you can go down there, okay, then we're on some other level now. That's that's just, that's crazy. That would be so dope, and I am going to mess with that to see if that's possible. But this is just showcasing how you can stack buildings now on top of one another, which is a very cool feature. This one here, if you remember from my one video, it only had this before, so you had like, this is like noon dusk midnight dawn that's all it had was just this one right here now you can change the position of the sun and how it casts shadow onto the map and you can also change the color of the lighting as well check this out i really like this and then the water look at how the water you can see it kind of move very cool now those animations don't export i just need to uh make that clear uh, it's good when you're working in it but they they don't export i'm they're working on doing that but they don't export right now so if you you have foundry or fantasy grounds or anything like that uh, don't expect those to export the lights will export uh, the animations on the light will not export just as just a little side note there Okay, this is one of the new assets. This is a Venus flytrap, huge, and you can make it as big or as small as you would like. So you can make a small one, and that's on top of a uh, potted plant or something like that. And you can make a huge one and stand it up like outside like this. So that's cool. Okay, this one here is an outdoor, it looks like a jousting area. And the one thing that it's showcasing here are curved walls we're going to get into that in a second though because that's a big deal all right this one here is letting you know that before you would draw your map it would auto populate and then you'd be good to go but if you drew it too big or you wanted to make it a little smaller then there was no way to do that you have to redraw it smaller well now you can actually add to or take away from whatever you have drawn simply by going over it and doing that and deleting it and you can delete that part very cool okay here's the big deal for me okay for me this is a big deal i was on the discord for dungeon alchemist uh i don't know about four or five weeks ago something like that and i was in dungeon alchemist and i was like man you can't draw circular walls or circular rooms what's up with that so I just went on there just to see maybe if I was missing something or whatever. And apparently, no, you could not draw circular walls, but they did say at the time it's coming. Well, uh, fast forward about a month or so later and they are here and I'm very happy about this. And this comes, <laughs> the, the time is impeccable because of where my player is at in my campaign right now in my The One Ring campaign it is impeccable so i'm really excited to get into dungeon alchemist after i get done making this video and to mess with the circular walls to see how that works absolutely cool man that's really cool that's a big deal here's another big deal small you might think hey this is small but it's huge and it's the simple fact that you can change the color of your lights of all the lighting didn't have that before you had one color that's it you didn't even have a color palette so it was the light was the light and there you go well now you have 10 different shades you can make it brighter and or darker you know a lighter green or a darker green or a brighter green or whatever it's very cool small but details matter folks blue there you go how cool is that details matter and then now you've got this you know kind of pan scene going and this jungle scene with this sculpture here on top and i believe i believe that these are separate things just showing off how you can stack things now very cool absolutely cool so this is it the new abandoned 
Ruins update. And I'm excited to get into it now. It makes me want to go in and get into it. And if you are looking for a fantasy map making piece of software, this is it. And this update is should motivate you to go and grab this thing. Really cool. Got to give them kudos. Good job. All right, there you have it. So you can go ahead and go to Steam to download this if you're interested. Very positive reviews over there. It's not really a game. This is kind of one of my thumbs down for the thing. Kronos Builder is doing the same thing. Thumbs down for me. Like owning my software just the way that it is. Nobody's going to change my mind on that. I know it's easier for the developers, but I like owning my own software and downloading it and putting it on my computer. That's me. There it is. It's 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 on point. Really exciting stuff going on with it. Going over to Steam, download it. If you are a GM, this is and you are running a fantasy setting. Yeah, this is this is going to be it for you. So go over there, grab it. If you got any more questions, just leave a comment down below. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like for a brother and give me some YouTube algorithm love. Now, I mean, and for those of you who go and see other videos on the channel and are like, yo, you know, I like what he's doing, then go ahead and smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Now, I mean, I'm out like a scout. Peace.